We welcome the most dominant ever, Shaquille O'Neal of the Petros and Money Show on Fox Sports Radio and Aries Spears. Thanks for being here, guys. What's cracking? What's happening? Shaq, what's cracking, man? Chilling. Now, you guys, I, I, I love watching this show. I mean, I really do love watching Shaq versus. I mean, you got a hose a little bit throwing the football. I mean, you really do kind of have a cannon strapped to that shoulder. Plus, you had a pick six. What was it like competing against Big Ben in that, in that story day in Pittsburgh? I mean, I admit <clears throat> I'm one of those couch potato bravado guys that sit on the couch and analyze everything and say to myself that I can do it. So, you know, for example, the, a play that he had in the Super Bowl where, you know, he made the great pass. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm the type of guy, hey, you give me that same blocking, <laughs> I make the same pass in the corner, same results, touchdown. So, you uh-huh. know, I, I just wanted to go up against uh, the, the, the other great athletes at their sport to see how I fare, how I fare out. I think the one everyone's excited to see is Oscar De La Hoya. I mean, one, pound for pound, one of the greatest fighters of, of his generation, but uh, giving you about 200 pounds and about a foot and a half, uh, how, how does that match up? It's why there's weight classes in boxing. I, know. I did that fight basically because if you go back to 1971, the great Will Chamberlain challenged Ali. They did the press conference, whatever, right. and it never happened. So I, I challenged Oscar. He accepted. So, you know, basically, basically that fight was about making history. However, if I had trained every day in boxing with the great Frody Roach, I would be a heavyweight champ. That's guaranteed. You're a boxing fan. I yeah. mean, you know boxing. You know the heavy hands of an Oscar De La Hoya. You know how strong a little guy like that is. I mean, you these know, guys listen, are I, animals. No, and don't let you know, the fact that I fight a lot of guys and I throw <laughs> a lot of punches and it's very fast. And don't don't let the voice fool you, man. He's a monster. One of the one of the things that that Laker fans always talk about is you know what could have been could could it have been seven eight titles you know if if there was either better chemistry off the court or if Shaq was never traded. I mean, could we have been talking about you know a greater dynasty than the Bulls had in the 90s. Is that just dumb fan, we play the game on a computer you know, speak, or, no, or is there something to that? You know, there's you know a lot of people a lot of people live their lives on, on if. And I truly believe if we would have stayed together, then yeah, we probably would have had six or seven. However, I can, I can say this confidently, that, that myself and the other guy, the best one-two punch ever created in the history of the game. <clears throat> I say that truthfully and honestly, and there's no other ones even close and, I, and I say that, and I, I, you know, I said it because what we did on the court and all the stuff y'all thought we had going on off the court, it'll never, ever be a one-two punch like that ever created again, and that's what makes us the greatest one-two punch ever. Who's the best big man ever? Would you truly be the MDE in that tournament? You know, it's a lot of, it's a lot of criteria from certain people on, on what determines if you're a, a great big man. A lot of people say whoever has the most championships, so... You know, from that standpoint, it has to be Bill Russell. And uh, then, you know, who scored the most points? Then that would go to Kareem. Who made people quit all the time? Well, Will did it first, and then this other kid named Shaq O'Neal did it. He came in. So, you know, there's a, a lot of opinions on, you know, who's the best. I'm just thankful and honored to have my name mentioned. Charles says things sometimes that, like, I sat back one day and went, did he just, like, he was talking about Shaq. And I'm, I say this in my stand-up, and I'm not making this up. And and the dude asked him, so what you think about Shaq going to Phoenix? Shaquille, for, let me tell you, something. first of all, Shaquille O'Neal in the pay, they got to help him. He said help him. Now I know he was saying help him. Happy, because he still draw a double team. But when he, they got to help him. And I said I'm done. I was a fan after that. Help him. I said it was great. That's that's who I am. I'm a regular guy just like you. But I want an athletic lottery. Hey, I make a lot of money. I'm, I'm, I'm on TV a lot. And that's the type of guy. That I'm not one of these superstars, entourages, and, hey, you want to do the show with, with you know, 570, call my guy. He's going to talk to me. I'm not, I'm a, you know, regular guy. I come to my house, eat some sandwiches, eat some donuts, and then when I go that's, play. That's, that's how regular he is. I don't know if he, Bush he, up. I don't know if he remembers this story, but uh, a few of my, my comedian friends, we wanted to try to get this movie off the ground. So we actually drove out to this place he was staying at to pitch it to him. So we all sitting around and we pitching the movie and then halfway through the pitch, Shaq turns and he goes, uh, y'all smell that? We was like, what was that? I farted. Happy birthday Happy birthday dear Yeah. <laughs>
Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was the best.